welcome. This is a tutorial for the basic setup of a crusher. There are four different levels of crusher. There is a overclocking charge every time you go up a tier. So when you go from a recipe that falls within the 16 to 64 up to steel there's going to be an overclocking charge and then when you go from that up to titanium that's another overclocking charge and then again to the tungsten steel there will be another overclocking charge is four times the amount of power for two times the speed and as you can see, we have four different flavors of crusher. There's also a large crusher. That is a multi-block. And there is a build video on this channel for that as well. I'll leave a card in the corner about it. Now, the crusher will take you two diamonds, a robust machine haul, a spring hammer and wrench to craft it and it takes power only from the back its input is only from the top and its output is only from the bottom so when you set this up you will need at least a pipe here because a chest cannot open underneath a uh, full block but it can open from under a pipe as you can see here so once you have that your crusher made and your chest and your pipes hooked up then you're going to need an engine and for engines you have a choice all engines have different efficiency so the lead one up to the fiery steel will work for the setup because you need a minimum of 16 ku to run the bronze crusher for its recipes which we'll look at those in a minute. But you can see here the usage is 16 and it says GU, that is generic units for any machine that you're using. And this machine uses KU, kinetic units, which are supplied by an engine. So that is 16 that it needs. So if you look at the engines, a lead can do it at its maximum but its efficiency is 30 percent where you can go with a fiery steel which 16 is its minimum that it can run and then you only need 51 enter steam in because its efficiency is 62%. So depending on which one you want to run depends on how efficient it's going to be and how much steam that you need to give it. Now the easiest way if you're going for 16 is to do either brass, bronze, or steel as they all have 50% efficiency which gives you a easy conversion there is also invar but it has to be ran at the max and you have to supply 50 steam which isn't the easiest to do so I would always suggest going with either the bronze, the brass, or the steel myself because the conversion is just easy. 
So what you'll what you're going to need to supply is 64 steam. And 64 steam comes from a steel boiler exactly with 32 heat units a tick, which is exactly what the steel burning box supplies. So that is why we have this setup here. You will need one pipe. Small copper is perfectly fine for this. Uh, you can connect underneath a hopper to collect the ash from the burning box. We have a piston on the front to shut it off. Remember with burning boxes, they do not shut off immediately. They have to finish whatever fuel they are currently burning. So it will not shut off immediately, but it will shut off. Then on the back, we have a pipe going in to feed it fuel. None of that is needed. That's just an accessory to keep everything uh, running. You can also hook up a pipe to the engine, which will return 80% of the distilled water back from the uh, steam that's created in the boiler and you will need to give distilled water preferably distilled water you can use regular water but then it's going to calcify and it will lose its efficiency of steam that it will be able to um, down to 50 percent so at max calcification you would need two boilers to create the same amount of steam so you'll always want to run uh, distilled water into your boiler which you can easily get dryer and I will have a card for the tutorial for the dryer and making distilled water but that is your crusher now the recipes that you can do with a crusher is crushing ores down to crushed ore which as you seen there a second ago you will get the um, stone that it is in out with it you can also use it for crushing any gem down to the next level down so from legendary to exquisite exquisite to flawless flawless to regular so on and so forth you can use it to crush down your rocks that you pick up to small piles of dust you can also use it for breaking um, stone down to cobblestone and if you use um, thumbcraft you can do your shard breaking down uh, if you get the fancier ones you can break them down because they're classified as gems uh, also if you want cracked bricks you can take your bricks throw them in and they will turn into the cracked version and if you happen to find the redstone bricks you can break those down to cracked brick and the redstone if you have reinforced bricks and you'd like to get the iron out of them you can also break those down and get the iron out of them and cobblestone and as far as I know every recipe in the crusher is 16 KU as you can see there's a lot of them in there I am not going through all of them to show you but I have never found one that needs more than 16 you can overclock this to 64 because that is the maximum that the bronze 
crusher can handle and there will be no overclocking penalty for that. Now, as you see in the tooltip here, you can use a screwdriver to toggle the modes. You can use a monkey wrench to toggle the automatic inputs and the outputs. If a recipe gets stuck in and you can't figure out how to make it work, you can use a soft hammer to reset it, but you will lose the um, recipe that it was trying to run at the time. You can use a magnifying glass on it to get any and all details about it. And you can use a wrench to turn it. So if you need to face it a different way, you can turn it that different way with a wrench. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or stop into our Discord. Link is in the description. And happy crushing.